Welcome back to another video. Kind of humid. Uh, we are down here at Port Aransas, fixing to do a little kayak fishing. Gonna get out here and see if we can do something with this uh, fishing trip. Uh, Brian and I are down here again. Uh, just to poke around, do a little bay fishing and go explore some new areas we've never been, so it's uh, windy. It is always windy down here though. But uh, we're gonna we're getting some ice for the coolers and uh, we're gonna go spend a day out on the water. We're gonna stay in Port Aransas tonight and then uh, we're gonna hit it again in the morning and uh, see if we can get a good morning bite. And uh, I think it's like 7.30 in the morning right now, even though the sun's up pretty high. And we'll, uh, we'll get back with you when we get, get into some action, I guess. All right, well, uh, I guess we'll talk to you later. Out. Here we are at Wilson's Cut. all ready to go fishing out of Jackson kayak Kusa pedal drive Brian's fishing out of a, a radar 11 and a half foot wilderness with the pedal drive I change it up every now and then. Yeah, the it'll slide off. Once that hook starts getting it loose, it'll slide off. I just I just leave it on there till the till the plastic won't ever stay on the hook anymore. Swimming to me. Oh, it's a good one. He's pulling drag. Oh, it's a big trout. <laughs> yeah. It's a little trout, but might be a keeper. Come here, little guy. Let's just say he's bigger than the last one. He's about 14. He's, he was 13. <laughs> Big flounder. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh 
on my jig. How big that gotta be? I don't even know. Uh, he's 13 and a half. Okay, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I got, I got a red! Good slot red. Sorry. Good slot. Well, he's 20 inches, so he barely keep it. Keep her. Twenty-four hours later. <laughs> well, I'm all, I know this might look kind of weird, but uh, we're fixing to get rained on big time, and we're in the middle of the bay over here. So. We looked out, I had a couple of tarps in the, uh, in the kayak for some reason. And uh, so the wind is ripping. You see the uh, bay's pretty ripping over here. The wind's picked up and we're fixing to get rained on. So we're just going to put these tarps over us and I guess we're going to wait it out, I guess. Hey, look, the clouds are splitting right there. was only supposed to blow five miles an hour today. Yeah. <laughs> perfect Texas weather. If you don't like it, wait. Probably the sun will be shining. It'll be 100 here in a minute. So we're down here over near Wilson's Cut, uh, Port Aransas, Texas. And uh, we're going to try to do a little bit of fishing, but we're fixing to get rained on pretty heavily so we're just kind of sitting here contemplating what we're gonna do <laughs> should i stay or should i go now and uh we would be fishing before it starts really raining but there's quite a bit of lightning right now so and the, I guess smart people would just go back and get in the truck, but we had to uh, maneuver ourselves through a mangrove forest to get from the pickup out into the water. So I think by the time we even made it back to the truck, we were gonna be in the middle of it. So it's not, there's some thunder right there. It's not like we don't wanna fish, but I guess what we could do is just go back to the truck and, and leave the and leave the boats in the water. Yeah, we could do that really easy. Because we could just walk back to the truck. Yeah. 
got the wind in her back we'd make it back twice as fast oh yeah I don't know it's a pretty pretty good ways over there oh there was a big bolt of lightning right there oh there was another one is it you is it me it looks clear that way Hey, this is better than nothing. No, this is great. Mejor it's que got nada. My brain. It, hey, no, this is fantastic, but it's got my brain working. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, dude, if you just had like a little, a little pop-up tent to put around you, shit, like a little bag. I don't mind my legs getting wet. I can't believe this wind is ripping behind this island that we got for cover right here. Well, I mean, it is low. Yeah, we, we got a little duck blind right here that we uh, tied off to because the damn sand right here is so hard we can't even get our stake poles to stick in the ground. It's like cement. You want some hot dogs? Let's start a fire. Oh, yeah, a little hibachi right here in my boot. A little gas stove would work. All right, we're gonna sign off for now. We'll get back with you when it gets Western, I guess. Out. So we had a little bit of break in the weather. It's fixing to get really bad. So we're hauling ass back to the truck. I can't say we're hauling ass because we're not moving that fast, but I guess for a kayak, we're moving pretty good because this is faster than you could probably paddle. Yeah, it's Pat. We're not even to the duck blind yet. Yeah. 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 Water is absolutely gorgeous right here. But as you can see in the distance, that dark, that dark area right there is on the radar, it's solid red. So we're gonna come over, we're gonna go back, work our way through the mangroves, stake out the kayaks, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna go sit in the truck. There's fish all in here. There he goes.
mosquitoes everywhere. You got them all over your back. Whoa, that's slick. Holy, you should have seen that black drum, dude. It was probably, it was probably 30 pounds. It was huge. Well, I think it was about 10 minutes ago I said we're trying to get in before the rain. We pulled the kayaks up on the bank right there and I we just sat in the truck three minutes after we just pulled the kayaks up and it started starting to rain and it is dark. So I think we made it in. I think we made it in before the uh, that red cell that was fixing to come over the top of this. Um, I think we made a good decision by not being out there when this comes in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sit here uh -huh. and we're gonna wait. I said we're just gonna sit here and we're just gonna wait this big red cell out because on the radar it looks like it's supposed to pass over. And then uh, we'll see if we can go catch something after this. This was about five minutes after the last clip I just took. Damn, we're gonna have to wait out for our boat. And we're on the dry land. not too dry. Right here is a river flowing underneath the pickup. Can we pull up? No. We're in the highest spot right here. I'm up the back side. Yeah, we're good. And just like that, 30 minutes later, the bay filled up a little bit. The boat's kind of floated off a little bit, but we're back in business. Headed back out. It's too bad those duck blinds don't have roofs. We could have got in one of those. Just sat there. <laughs> outro you know I never have an outro for any of my videos so uh, we got our ass whipped today boys I don't know what it was with the rain or what it was but man it was pretty hard pretty tough it's not like we didn't fish our butt off we tried we came we saw some new water we did some new stuff it's all right. It's all about the day on the water. Good company. Good times. Not at work. So we'll get back with you on the next video, whenever that may be. Out.